I wanted to just show you quickly. I've never actually walked through a quilt um, showing videos beginning to end. I've shown different parts of video uh, t-shirt quilts in all different forms, but never one quilt all the way through. So I'm working on a Dr. Seuss quilt for one of my girls, and I'm just going to take video of each step along the way. So this is the laying out step. If you notice, there's no reds touching, there's no greens touching, there's no blues, purples. We try to make sure that they're not all concentrated in one area. And we use different things other than t-shirts sometimes. All right, we have several different pants. Um, and she wanted to incorporate those. We could have just, you know, used them on a pillow, but there wouldn't have been big squares. Sorry, I've got my table. I should have put the table up while I was showing this. But we have enough to put one square on each corner of each, or edge of each um, row. So, and then we're going to use this fuzzy fleece ones for uh, a pillowcase. So, um, just showing this step, I am just started cutting them. I'm working on, I've got the top row mostly done. Um, so far I got it and then I need to do the, the pants. But um, And then I'm going to start on the second row and whatever. So basically, um, I cut them each square as big as I can. Um, usually the top of the neck because once you start sewing it in the seam this will mostly go in and that gives you a seam allowance if you cut it here it doesn't give you a seam allowance on this and then the bottom and just trim it even you can see there's a hem here and a hem here but that will also go into the seam allowance so I usually cut them as wide as possible and as tall as possible in the first cutting um, you can see there's some really big ones already cut really wide and then some thinner ones now this one had fun sleeves, cat in the hat sleeves, so we actually incorporated those in. I cut the sleeves off and just pinned them. You can see they're just pinned on this Grinch one. And then she didn't want all the Grinch ones in one row because, you know, there's not enough to have a different row of each kind. So she made sure there was a Grinch one in each different row. So there's five Grinch ones and they're all in different rows. So anyway, those are kind of how we lay it out. Um, first cutting I cut them all as big as I can and then I I go with the small, smallest row in the next set once I've got them all cut then I take the sc smallest and skinniest row and then I cut all the rest into that row size. Um, she wants it as king so it can be a twin comforter bedspread touching the floor on both sides. So usually if you're going to do that you want to have the center ones be the cuter ones that you like. Now they all love this Dr. Swag one I found the other day. And then she has some personal ones that she really likes. There's a Bilbo Baggins one that's uh, kind of a cute one she wanted to see too. So we usually put those ones. And then the kids all like sweatshirts and I leave the pockets on when I do that. So she wanted that to be on the center as well. So you kind of have to work through it that way. There's another pocket up here and she wanted that one at the top because it's one that she really liked. So um, the top ones you see, um, or you, they're closest to your face when you're in bed, the center ones down the center row and across the center are the ones that are in the middle of the bed. So usually we put the weirder ones with, so there's a couple down here that we're sewing patches on, they're two different ones, so we like the cat and the hat stripe, but she didn't want this whole shirt. And then there's a musical, musical one that she wanted on the bottom of this one fish, two fish one. So. Um, Usually the ones that you like the least, like this Christmas one, she thought it was really cute because it had the who's, you know, who me, on it. Um, and then a, another, an extra Grinch shirt. But she wanted those ones on the bottom because they're ones that are not her favorite. So these ones are all kind of cute, but like anything that's got sparklies or bumps or anything like that. And this, this shirt is one that she actually wore, trees are for hugging. Um, so she wanted to put that on there because it's kind of like the truffle trees but it's not something that's actually Sue, so she didn't want it in the middle. So usually the bottom row is something that you're not going to see very often, so always put the ones that you aren't, you aren't your favorite on the bottom row. Anyway, so that's uh, video one of Dr. Seuss quilt, and as I work through it and get them all cut, I'll show you the next step and the next step and the next step. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out my blog, The Secret is Gratitude. I'll try and blog with each post uh, uh, video, and thanks. Uh, Check out my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude. There's all sorts of 
other videos. If you're into t-shirt quilts, I've probably got 10 videos on there about different quilts. Also on my blog, there's a lot of tips on how to do different things for the different quilts. So thanks for watching and have a blessed day.